Hi, it's Paul Anderson, and in this video, I'm going to show you my son, my daughter, and myself having fun with ferrofluids. Uh, here's a picture of ferrofluids right here. It's a colloid, so it's got a bunch of nanomagnetic particles that are suspended in solution. Now they're coated in a surfactant, and if you didn't do that, they would just glom together when you put them in a magnetic field. But when you do put them in a magnetic field, you get this amazing art, um, these great protrusions that come out of it. And the ferrofluid that I received, I received from my friend, uh, Miles Power, a uh, fellow YouTube edu guru. I was putting together these science boxes. I told him it sounds amazing, and he sent one our way. And so we received a box in the mail, which was from the UK, and so that was very exciting. It had all the material you would need to play around with these ferrofluids, and it even had this little cool Miles Power button. If you want to kind of look at Miles' work, you could go to this website, and I'll put a link in the video description down below. Um, but we started playing with them, and we started making this art as well. And so what I said I would do is share some images and some of the videos of us playing with it. And so the first thing we did is we covered our table with um, newspaper and some cloth. And so we didn't stain anything because it's really easy to stain material with this. We got out a glass and then we hooked it up. And so what you have is these really powerful magnets underneath the Petri dish. And then you have a bolt or something on the top of it. And then as you uh, just squirt the ferrofluid onto the material, you get this amazing... Um, art, I guess, is the best way to talk about it. Here's my daughter pretending to be interested, and here's my son playing with it when it's under uh, water. And so they put together a little video, and uh, I'm going to show you that. Okay. Any uh, words of caution? Um, this stuff stains very easily, so make sure to have your gloves and an old shirt on. Okay. Also, make sure they go to MP. <laughs> I think I'm okay. Do you want me to try to do it, or do you want to try it? Um, um, you try. Good thing we... Is it doing the thing? Oh, oh. <gasps> wow! kind of want to touch it. <laughs> They're getting big on the bottom, see that? Can you spin it at all or not? You can squirt the rest out of that if you want. There it goes. It's cool as I bring it in, you get just a few. And the closer I get, the more of them. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what you do? Okay. So thanks, Miles, for the kit. We had a ball playing with it. We made a total mess. We were able to clean it up. I gave the kit to uh, the engineering teacher at the high school, and he was amazed and, and was playing with it with his students as well. And so. Um, Thanks again. If you want to, uh, people of the internet, get one of your own. Miles is selling them. You could grab them online. Uh, just go to his website. He, if you don't want to do that, he even shows you how to do it yourself. So how you can create your own ferrofluid using old cassette tapes and a blender. And so uh, Miles does amazing work. I love to watch his videos. You should definitely subscribe. And uh, I hope that was helpful.